The film's about a big... <laughs> Scene 21 Alpha, take two. Mark it. And Set. Frame. And action! The movie is about a company taking over a plot of land and they're wanting to develop it and it's uh, sacred native land and the land is protected by a, a big monster. We go in there as the survey crew, we try to cut things down, start hacking things, we start noticing things about trees and all of a sudden all of us are getting picked off one by one through this fiasco of a story. You believe in that kind of shit, don't you? The character I play is Julie. She's a hippie. She's not really one for the forest, but she's there because um, the rest of her friends are there and she's trying to get the surveyors out of the forest. Look, mister, we don't want any trouble. We're just looking for our friends. My character in the movie, sort of the bad guy in the movie, I guess you'd say he's, he's like the landowner, or company owner. Or, you know, he's just your typical uptight businessman who doesn't give a shit about anything except for making money, so. He wants all these people to get out of there and let him do his developments and make money. I play Dale Phillip, a security guard slash uh, bodyguard who is hired on by the company to escort the survey crew into the forest in which they are surveying. He's got a shady background and spent some time in jail for assault. And when he gets out of jail, uh, that's, he gets hired by the company to go do the survey crew and take them into the forest. When the mayhem ensues, he's got to figure out uh, who's telling the truth and who's doing what and what's real and what isn't. Just say the word and I'll go look for him. I play a college student who is interning for them. We all go into the forest and we're camping out and surveying the land and things start happening, things that can't be explained and it turns out there's all these myths and these legends and about this mythical monster and it gets really ugly. In the movie Alarming, I play the character of Vanessa Fisk. She's a very proper girl. She's very well educated. She has an on and off again relationship with Roger, who is played by Glenn Hoffman. She is a land surveyor. No, I am not going by myself. I play a small role in the beginning. I'm one of the First Nations whose dad has gone out to look for this monster and um, we're waiting by the fire for him with Annalise who plays my mom and uh, this really cute little girl who played my little sister. He comes back and he's been bitten and infected by this monster so he has to be killed in order to not spread the virus. <laughs> I show up and I've been bitten by the monster so uh, I'm starting to mutate and change, but uh, I still want to be with my kids and, and uh, they, they just want to kill me. And so it's a bit of a horrific scene there. It was a small part, but I thought it was a very meaty role. I was happy with it. I was very happy that they asked me to do it. It was very flowered. Acting is just learning about yourself and how you would react to certain situations. It's something that everybody should do because it opens you up. When I got into it, I wasn't really expecting anything. I was just going in there to have fun. And I think that's the best way you can go at it. Working with the cast and crew was a lot of fun. Like, the cast and crew of the movie was, they're fun to be with, always cracking jokes. Everyone knew their stuff. They did phenomenal in everything we did. It was a great experience. I think the school has set something up for you that it's it's a really good ender to your two years of here at New Image. It really kind of exceeded expectations to some extent, just because I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know what they had going on. But for an independent crew, talented cast, to be stuck in the middle of a forest <laughs> and, and filming, it was it was it was fun. It was good. I don't know. It was I had a good time. That was actually my first feature film. Actually working outside school, outside your vicinity that you're used to, and you're going like way far into the city. Well, like overall, it was so good. It's a long process. I mean, I'm just starting to really come into my own of where I need to be acting. And once you come in there, then you gotta really start growing, right? So there's tons of places to go with this. But I feel I'm at a place where I can 
at least go out into the real world of acting and audition and, and be confident that I can bring something to the table that's at least compatible with other actors who are in the profession. I think that hands-on is just the key thing and, and, and uh, I've always been a person that uh, academically sitting in a room and writing and reading just doesn't really, that's not me, I'm a hands-on more, I guess I, as most actors are a little bit more on the artsy side, you're in the moment with everything, uh, everything that's happening is the real deal, it's not on a textbook and uh, I think that's the best learning experience that you can have is to be on the job. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Unless you're doing it, you'll never get good at it. Without training, uh, honestly, uh, I couldn't ever see myself getting good at it. I believe that when I'm done here, I'll continue to do movies, whether they're short films, whether it's on the stage, whether it's a big um, over-budgeted hunk of crap, which is just the money buy. <laughs> but no, I believe that, yes, I've been taught rather well, and I feel that I would that I am ready for the industry to the best of my knowledge.